In this video we're going to look at how to program a 2D cut from a 3D part in Bobcat version 21. Here you can see I already have a part open on the screen. I come here and we can render it as well. And we could see here it's a 3D part, but these are really two dimensional cuts. We have some drill holes and also profile cut. I'm going to close this. The first thing to do is to, what we want to do is we want to get the part move, moved over closer to zero in the position that we're going to cut it in reference to zero on the machine. So to do this, what I need to do is move the model over here to zero. And in this case, I probably want to go from this corner. So what I need is a point here to move it by. Now, to get a point, since I have a solid, I have no 2D edges to work with. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here to Solids, Stitching. I'm going to unstitch a surface from the solid. So we're going to take just this one surface off of the solid, since it has both sides of what we want. And I'm going to hide the rest of the model, or I'm going to blank the model. Now we're left with this one face that has the parts that we're going to want a machine. Now I'm going to select this and we're going to come here to solids, then extract edges. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us a chance to choose which edges we want to take. Let's take all edges, arcs, and lines. And what we've done essentially, if we take and delete this surface and refresh the screen, is we've left ourselves with some 2D geometry which will be machinable. Now we want to move this part over, so I'm going to come here to point, intersect between these two lines. So now we have a point where we want to zero the part. I'm going to select my geometry, then come here, change and translate. I'm going to use snap points. We'll choose the point that we had created, and let's go ahead and turn on our snap point for the zero. So we'll come to our environment settings or snap points, and I also want to snap on the UCS. There we go. Now that the part's in the position where we want to machine it, and we have the 2D geometry to machine, we're going to come to Special NC Cam, Insert NC, choose the post processor that we want to use, choose OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and set up my cuts. Now, depend in version 21 and prior, depending on which post processor you pick, some of your options will be different. Uh, but first thing to do is put in our safety code, so we'll come to Macro, Program, Start, and then fill out the information that it prompts us for. Choose OK. Choose any rapid location that we want, and that's going to set up our program start. Now we're ready to come in and do a tool change. And we'll set our spindle speed, our Z safe height, we'll choose OK any rapid location or positioning that we want. And now we'll start applying our cut. So we just set up tool one. Now let's say that that was a drill and we're going to select these holes to drill. Go to machine, drill in cycles, and let's say that we're going to do a spot drill, a G81, and we're going to say that our feed rate is going to be five and our hole depth is going to be minus one. There's our code for the G81 cycle. Now we'll call a tool change our spindle speed, direction, coolant, safe height, rapid location. Now that we have a tool change, let's go ahead and cut a profile. We'll come here to machine, profile. I'll pick the first line of cut, choose the direction. You can see when I move the mouse up and down the direction arrow changes. Then I'll hit F3 to complete the selection of the profile. And we'll go ahead and say no, we'll use the default starting point. We'll fill out our depth information and our rapid plane, our materials top, and we're going to say do use roughing, set our feed rates, and then we'll set up our lead in lead out as well as compensation as needed. Then click on macro program end, and there's our program ready to be sent to the machine. And that's how you create a program from a 3D part that has 2D cuts in Bobcat version 21.